Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of our discussion today is hysteroscopy. What is hysteroscope? It is an instrument used to visualize the uterine cavity and fallopian tubes. What is hysteroscopy? It is a procedure in which uterine cavity and the fallopian tubes are visualized by hysteroscope. What are the diagnostic indications of hysteroscopy? Those include first of all abnormal uterine bleeding. Secondly, infertility, Escherman syndrome, fibroid and polyp, Mullerian anomalies, misplaced IUCD, cervical incompetence, chronic pelvic pain. The operative indications of hysteroscopy include first of all resection of uterine septum, adhesiolysis, endometrial ablation and resection, removal of IUCD, sterilization and removal of polyp and pedunculated fibroid. What are the contraindications of hysteroscopy? Those include infection, pregnancy, bleeding, malignancy like cervical CA, cervical stenosis when there is increased risk of cervical perforation, cardiopulmonary disorder when there is risk of anesthesia and type 2 submucosal fibrin. What are the complications of hysteroscopy? Those include uterine perforation, hemorrhage, infarction, endometritis, cervical incompetence and trauma, bladder injury, gas embolism, fluid overload and infertility. What are the different parts of hysteroscope? Those include first of all telescopes. The telescopes are of two types. First of all, the rigid telescope, which is most commonly used type of the telescope, with the outer diameter of operative hysteroscope of about 10 mm using monopolar electrosurgery. The other type is that of the flexible telescope, which offers advantage of negotiating scope along with the uterine cavity with no touch technique. The second part of hysteroscope is that of the hysteroscope sheet consisting of inner sheath and outer sheath with obturator. Next part is that of the camera and stack system. So hysteroscopic image is visualized on monitor with the help of camera connected to camera drive unit. The other part is that of the light source and the minimum power of 150 watt is essential to obtain the clear image. The other part is that of the monitor which should display appropriate image. The other part is image rotating equipment and the last one is distension medium. Three types of distension mediums are commonly used which include carbon dioxide gas, low viscosity fluid with or without electrolytes and high viscosity fluids such as dextrons. In the topic of hysteroscopy, it's very important to know about the clinical anatomy of the uterus. Uterine cavity is flat in its anterior and posterior surface. And when not distended, anterior and posterior endometrial surfaces are opposed to each other. The cervical canal is rounded, but once entered in the cavity, lateral dimensions widen. The fundal dome may be flat, concave, or comes on its inner surface. Now, what is the best time to do hysteroscopy? It is preferable to perform hysteroscopy in the hip proliferative phase or immediately following a menstrual cycle. In case of continuous heavy bleeding, nor ethesterone 5 mg TDS for 7 to 10 days may be given prior to the examination. Next comes the anesthesia, which is given in the form of either paracervical, regional or general anesthesia. Next comes the position. The hysteroscopy is best performed in lithotomy or modified lithotomy position. Now comes the procedure. After explaining the whole procedure and its complications to the patient and her attendants, I will take an informed consent. After anesthesia, gowning and gloving, in the presence of good light, put the patient in lithotomy position and drape her. Empty her bladder. Do pelvic examination to determine size and position of the uterus. I will retract the posterior vaginal wall with the same speculum and hold anterior lip of the cervix with balsalum. I will insert his stereoscope into the uterine cavity through cervical canal without cervical dilatation. The uterine cavity is distended at a flow rate of 40 to 60 ml with a pressure between 40 to 80 mm of mercury which is sufficient to achieve good visualization. I will advance his stereoscope toward the fundus and rotate it to allow the inspection of tubal ostea. I will withdraw the hysteroscope in slowly rotating fashion in order to systematically inspect each uterine cavity then finally remove it and reposition the patient. 
then I will write down the detailed notes and sign it. What is the RCOG classification of hysteroscopy procedure? Those include first of all the level 1 which include diagnostic hysteroscopy plus target biopsy, removal of the polyp and removal of IOCD. The level 2 include proximal tube canalization, minor Asherman syndrome, removal of pedunculated fibroid or large polyp. The level 3 include more complex procedures like endometrial resection and ablation, division and resection of the septum and endoscopic surgery for major Asherman syndrome. So thank you so much that was all about hysteroscopy. Subscribe on Ops and Gyne. Allah Hafiz.